Tesla's making waves again with a major upgrade to Cybertruck. The electric vehicle manufacturer has begun reaching out to early Cybertruck owners, sharing exciting news about a new electric motor that boosts performance by about 10% and cuts energy consumption by 15%, extending the vehicle's range. With acceleration from 0 to 60 in less than 2.9 seconds, how have the new improvements enhanced the power and performance of Tesla's pickup truck. Why did Tesla decide to upgrade the range extension for the Cybertruck? Tesla announced that it will offer a range extender for Cybertruck. The Cybertruck range extender is an additional battery pack located in the truck bed, occupying 33% of the bed space. Company engineer Wes Morrill noted that this hardware will be permanently fixed to the vehicle structure, rather than being removable by the owner or service staff. Instead, Morrill stated that the range extender will be securely integrated into the structure to optimize safety in the event of an accident. The plan for the Cybertruck range extender was announced alongside the EV launch last year, although Tesla has not shared when the upgrade is going to be available. It's set to increase the driving range of the Cybertruck to 440 miles and 470 miles for the tri-motor Cybertruck and dual-motor configurations, respectively. Introduced alongside the Cybertruck, the range extender will only be available on dual-motor and all-wheel drive Cyberbeast variants. On the second variant, the range extender adds 130 miles resulting in a final range of 470 miles. Although this figure is 30 miles shy of Elon's original 500-mile claim, it's going to push the Cybertruck ahead of the Chevrolet Silverado EV when we're talking range. The first Cybertruck range extenders are expected to be available by the end of this year, though Tesla has yet to share a specific release date for this additional feature. For example, Ram's using a 3.6-liter V6 as a range extender in the Ram Charger. The engine is not connected to the wheels and acts as a gas power generator, providing a combined range of 690 miles. While this is a bit better than the Cybertruck, EV enthusiasts might argue it's not as environmentally friendly, although both trucks emit fewer emissions compared to regular trucks. According to a previous statement by Elon, this hardware is expected to occupy about one-third of the Cybertruck's bed and is also anticipated to be compatible with Tesla's base camp equipment, including the Cyber Tent. However, there is still disappointment as you'll have to pay more and sacrifice bed space to achieve the range initially claimed by Tesla. The only potential benefit is that owners might be able to install and remove the range extender. This would allow Cybertruck owners to install it only when they need a long-distance travel or towing and avoid carrying extra weight when not needed. Nevertheless, this remains a distant prospect as a battery capable of extending the range by over 100 miles for a large truck that would be extremely heavy, making it challenging for customers to install and remove easily. What are the new improvements in Cybertruck's electric motor? Tesla's just upgraded the motors in its Cybertruck trucks, which is a quite significant enhancement. Just a few months after the vehicle got released, Tesla changed motors in the Cybertruck trucks, giving it more power and higher efficiency. Elon is now inviting current owners to bring their Cybertrucks in for a free motor upgrade. That's a major upgrade. Although many people might not like it, we believe Tesla's got a substantial number of pre-orders. That's why you won't be able to purchase Cybertrucks outside the factory founder series until November. Tesla's charging a premium because they got enough pre-orders to do so. Tesla's reached out to current Cybertruck customers, asking them to bring in their trucks for a free motor unit replacement. This is not due to a recall or a defective part, but because Tesla's upgraded the motors, currently getting installed on all new Cybertruck trucks. The company believes it would be unfair if current owners did not get this upgrade. This information was shared by Kyle Connor on X along with screenshots of his conversation with Tesla Service. The message with Tesla states that they'll replace one of your current motor units with the latest production line to improve efficiency and reliability. Sweet! This motor upgrade applies only to the early owners of Cybertruck who selected the Foundation Series model, which is the only current version available for order at a price tag of $120,000. We do think Tesla will eventually offer other versions with lesser features and a starting price closer to $60,000, but the company recently sent an email saying they'll continue to offer only the Foundation Series until the end of this year due to ongoing demand.
Tesla did not specify whether the front or rear motor is going to get replaced, but all existing trucks have at least two motors. They did indicate that their current drive units will be upgraded to ensure optimal performance. According to Tesla's reports, the new drive units are expected to improve performance by somewhere between 5 and 10 percent. However, further optimization may suggest that Tesla is discovering issues with the current drivetrain, and this could be a soft launch or a retrofit program. Surveys indicate that around 20% of Tesla owners have experienced drivetrain issues in the first year of use. We should wait a few more weeks to see how owners receive the new drive units during their next service visit. On top of that, it's also worth noting that Tesla often conducts extensive internal testing and is known for frequently launching unfinished vehicles and upgrading them post-launch. For example, Cybertruck did not even come with all of the ADAS features when it was initially sold. According to surveys, Tesla vehicles frequently get software updates post-launch, with over 70% of users reporting at least one major update within their first year owning the car. What's more important is which of the two motors get replaced. On the dual-motor version, this may be clear compared to the tri-motor version, as the dual-motor version includes a permanent magnet motor and an induction motor, each serving different functions. The permanent magnet motor operates continuously when the truck is driving on the highway, while the induction motor activates when high torque and rapid acceleration are needed or when you're towing a load up a hill. Tri-motor version has been recently produced and delivered to users, so we suspect this upgrade applies to the dual-motor version. The fact that Tesla has not disclosed which motor will be replaced is pretty intriguing. If they are aiming to optimize efficiency, it might be the permanent magnet motor since it runs continuously, whereas the induction motor can get turned on or off as needed. It's going to be interesting to see which motor Tesla appraises and what their next optimization goal is when owners start getting new motors. We haven't heard of any issues with Cybertruck motors like overheating and there's no known practical problems with the motors. This is surprising because if Tesla were addressing reliability issues, we would have heard about some problems by now. But improving efficiency is certainly quite commendable. This change is likely to increase the vehicle's range. Remember, Tesla made a software update for the Model 3 in 2020 that improved its range by 5% just through a software upgrade. Tesla might do something similar with the existing Cybertrucks, providing them with longer range with these new motors. If Tesla claims they're improving this efficiency, this should indeed be the case. Cybertruck owners are reporting that they've received messages from Tesla requesting that they bring their trucks in for a motor replacement, including those with either the dual motor or tri-motor versions. It doesn't matter if you have the tri-motor or dual motor, both models are getting this new motor provided you want it. Some users have reported a slight vibration in the drivetrain, but that's not a major issue and seems pretty uncommon. Otherwise, it would have made headlines by now. Tesla also did a voluntary recall at the end of June to address issues related to improperly adhered bed liners and windshield wipers. The company continues to deliver trucks from the initial production run due to having over 2 million pre-orders. Wow! While the exact current number is still unknown, Tesla's upgraded the charging speed, clearly aiming to enhance enhance our user experience. Tesla's essentially doing software updates that improve the charging speed of Cybertrucks. This allows the vehicles to charge at 350 kilowatts, provided the charger can support that. Share your thoughts with us on this upgrade. Have you made a pre-order yet? If yet, are you going to continue? Please drop me a line and let me know in the comments. Why is the Cybertruck considered more cost-effective compared to Ford's F-150 Lightning? The electric pickup truck market is heating up. You got two giants. Tesla Cybertruck and Ford F-150's Lightning leading this revolution. Although both vehicles represent a significant departure from traditional gas-powered trucks, a closer look reveals their distinct advantages and disadvantages. Now, let's consider how many F-150s you could buy with the price of one electric truck and the insurance costs that are twice as much. Unless you're driving 20,000 miles a month, you're probably not going to save much, especially when you factor in what it costs to replace a battery. The assertion that Cybertruck owners would need to drive 20,000 miles a month to justify its cost compared to the F-150 is quite the bold claim. While it is true that Cybertruck comes with a higher price tag, particularly for top-end models, a closer look at the total cost of ownership gives us a more nuanced picture. Claiming that one needs to drive 20,000 miles a month to justify the cost of a Cybertruck is quite the oversimplification. Can we say straw man anyone? Even with moderate driving, the accumulated savings on fuel and maintenance can offset the higher initial cost over time. 
For example, the average annual fuel cost for gas vehicles in the U.S. is around two to three thousand dollars, while the electricity cost for an electric vehicle is only a somewhere between five hundred and eight hundred bucks a year. Additionally, the environmental benefits of EVs, such as reduced CO2 emissions and incentives like rebates and that federal tax credit of up to seventy-five hundred dollars, could continue to make the Cybertruck a favorable option. One of the most contentious comparison points is cost. While the base model Cybertruck is positioned to compete directly with F-150 in terms of price starting at around $39.9, the top-tier Cybertruck model comes with a bit of a higher price tag, reaching up to $69,900. And that raises questions about the economic feasibility of the Cybertruck for the average Joe. However, Tesla's impressive battery warranty, including 8 years or 100,000 miles with free replacement service, significantly reduces concerns about long-term ownership costs. Additionally, the average maintenance costs for EVs are about 50% lower compared to gas vehicles due to fewer requirements for things like oil changes, oil filters, and just regular old engine maintenance. Besides price, performance is a crucial factor. Cybertruck's standard all-wheel drive system gives us a clear advantage over the primary rear-wheel drive F-150 lineup, particularly in terms of towing capacity and off-roading. Cybertruck can tow up to 14,000 pounds and go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in under 3 seconds, surpassing the F-150 Lightning's capabilities. While specific towing and payload capacities are going to ultimately determine which truck best fits particular needs, Cybertruck's unique design and electric drivetrain promise impressive performance. Moreover, with a range of up to 500 miles on just a single charge, Cybertruck outdoes F-150 Lightning in terms of range. However, we should not overlook the F-150 Lightning either. As a well-established name in the truck market, Ford's got a strong foothold and a very loyal customer base. The Lightning gives you that more traditional truck design, which appeals to consumers who want that conventional look. Additionally, Ford's extensive dealer network gives a level of convenience and support that Tesla is still trying to establish. While the Cybertruck and F-150 give different approaches to the electric truck segment, both vehicles offer appealing propositions. The final choice will depend on individual priorities, such as budget, desired features, and driving needs. As the electric vehicle market continues to evolve, it's likely that Tesla will introduce new models and updates, further intensifying the competition. Ultimately, the battle between the Cybertruck and the F-150 is not just a comparison between two trucks. It represents a broader shift towards electric transportation and the potential for significant changes in the automotive industry. As consumers become increasingly aware of the environmental benefits and potential cost savings of electric vehicles, the demand for electric trucks is expected to rise, driving innovation and competition among manufacturers. Why is Tesla still focusing on upgrading Cybertruck? What will be the next step for Cybertruck? Most people are curious about Tesla's upcoming plans for its unique pickup truck. Now that nearly anyone who's ordered a Cybertruck can buy one, Tesla's next move is to make the Cybertruck available outside the US. Interestingly, unlike all other Tesla models, which are designed to meet most global regulations, Cybertruck was specifically designed to comply with North American regulations. Elon has previously mentioned that getting the Cybertruck approved for Chinese and Europe markets is going to be a challenging task. At a recent Tesla shareholder meeting, Musk elaborated, stating, Tesla will provide a special version of the Cybertruck next year dedicated to the European and Chinese markets, but the vehicle will need design changes and recertification. That said, Musk believes that the current priorities are to ramp up Cybertruck production in the U.S. and achieve profitability with the vehicle. Meanwhile, Tesla has confirmed that the EV manufacturer is still working to launch the Cybertruck in Canada by the end of the year. Additionally, a notable point is the end of the Foundation Series Cybertruck. Another short-term demand driver for Cybertruck is the conclusion of the Foundation Series program. Currently, Tesla only sells fully equipped Cybertruck variants with FSD, power share equipment, lifetime premium connectivity, and other perks. However, Tesla is expected to begin producing standard versions of the Cybertruck by the end of the year. Non-Foundation Series Cybertrucks will omit some features and come with a $20,000 discount. After said $20,000 discount, the standard all-wheel drive Cybertruck will have a starting price tag of $79,900. This means the vehicle will qualify for the $7,500 federal EV tax credit, and that brings the price down to $72,500. 
Tesla's implementing a decisive strategy to ramp up Cybertruck production while simultaneously cutting manufacturing costs. In the second quarter 2024 earnings call, Tesla announced that the production rate of Cybertruck has significantly increased, reaching a more than three-fold increase sequentially. This increase reflects the company's commitment to boosting productivity and meeting the growing market demand. It's anticipated that this year Tesla is going to make over 125,000 Cybertrucks, a notable figure demonstrating the company's ability to scale production. Improvements in the production process not only help increase the number of vehicles made, but also contribute to cutting costs. Lower production costs make Cybertruck more competitively priced, and that attracts more customers and gives higher sales. In addition to scaling productivity, Tesla is also focusing on optimizing production stages to achieve profitability from the Cybertruck by the end of the year. The combination of expanded production capacity and cost optimization will help the Cybertruck not only lead the electric pickup truck segment, but also support Tesla's long-term goal of maintaining and growing its presence in the worldwide EV market. Overall, it's surprising to see Tesla allowing an individual to order 15 Cybertrucks at once. We'll keep you updated as Tesla's Cybertruck sales strategy evolves. So, what do you think? Are you surprised by how easy it is to order and get a Cybertruck? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. The upcoming upgrades in Cybertruck are poised to shift perceptions of Tesla's electric pickup, showcasing its cutting-edge features and enhanced performance. These improvements promise to solidify Cybertruck's position as a leader in the electric truck market, attracting a broader range of customers. With advancements like increased range and innovative design elements, Tesla is set to boost its sales figures significantly. And as these enhancements become available, a Cybertruck is likely to redefine expectations for electric pickups and drive substantial growth in Tesla's market share. We hope you will experience the utmost relaxation after watching our video. And if you did, we humbly ask that you press that like button and join your Tesla Car World community when you subscribe to our channel. Smash that notification bell and stay on top of any fantastic videos that come your way. Your feedback in the comments and your time spent watching these videos is really appreciated. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you so much for watching and hope to see you back here soon. Take care, stay safe, and God bless you. Bye.